Come on in, you guys. Let's have a classic Reuben sandwich. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to show you how to make it in my kitchen today. Step by step, from start to finish. Oh, yeah. Reuben sandwiches. Mm, mm, mm. So, y'all, just stay tuned because we're going to get it all done today. Oh, yeah. So let's get started with this brisket because we got to cook it so we can have it all sliced up for this classic Reuben sandwich. Oh, yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get this um, brisket out of its package. We're going to wash it because it's a little salty. So we want to kind of wash it and make sure we get a lot of the saltiness off of it. And we're going to bring it on back. And we are going to put the seasoning pack on it. Um, we're going to have the skin side facing up. We already have our oven preheated pre to 350. This brisket is going to cook in the oven for three hours at 350 with the skin side up. I'm using a double aluminum pan because when I get done baking this, we are going to take it out of the aluminum pan that we're going to put it in and put it in the pan underneath because we need to make sure that there is no um, broth or juice left in that pan because we want it to rest but until then you guys just watch and step by step I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing oh yeah so you see I put the extra virgin olive oil on the skin side the fat part that's up I got some sauerkraut I'm going to put about two a serving spoon size of the sauerkraut under the brisket. And then I'll put the aluminum foil on it, shiny side down, give it a little shaky shake swirl, open it back up. And I will add about um, a cup of water. And then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for three hours because this is a three pound brisket. So you want to bake it an hour per pound. All right, so it's time to have taken it out of the oven. It's been three hours. Let's take a look and see what it's looking like. Okay, it's ready. Now we have to let it sit. I'm going to have to take it out of that liquid. I have, as I told you guys earlier, the second aluminum pan, which is underneath. I am going to lay that brisket in that pan underneath because you don't want it soaking up any more of the broth that it's made. And then once we put it at brisket in that aluminum pan we are going to um let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour before we slice it up so we'll be back soon all right now we're gonna go ahead and get this cut up okay. Can when you start slicing it make sure you slice it against the grain not with the grain but against the grain and you saw i just took that big piece of fat off you want to make sure that once it bakes up you take the fat excess fat off to kind of trim it off after you bake it not before but after you bake it because you want that fat to render into that meat and make it stay so juicy and tender all right, meat's all cut up. Now we're gonna get the, our bread prepared. We have New York style rye bread. I'm gonna take out eight slices of bread and we're going to butter. We're going to butter all the breads on one side because we are going to be grilling this on the stove uh, with the butter side of the bread down on the skillet. Now the butter I have out is already softened butter. I have the cheese out and the cheese is also softened. Okay, so once I'm done buttering up the breads, I am going to 
take and start building the sandwich. I will take my Russian dressing and spread it on the side of the bread that does not have the butter. And then I'll add my cheese, which is a Gouda cheese. You can use Swiss cheese um, as well. That's classic, but I'm going to be using the Gouda cheese. And then I'll be adding my sauerkraut on top of that. And then another layer of the Russian sauce. And then at the end, you'll see me putting that second slice of cheese on top of that sauerkraut. So you're going to actually have two slices of cheese per sandwich. Each slice is going to be on the inside toward each part of the bread that does not have the butter. Okay, so I'm putting the, the second slice of cheese, as I was telling you earlier, on the Reuben sandwiches. So you have pretty much um, two other slices of cheese and everything else is in between those two slices of cheese on that bread. Now we're going to get ready to take the sandwiches over to the skillet. And I have the skillet set to medium. If you guys on your on your eye, if it's a uh, four to five uh, and six, that's between the temperatures that I will be uh, putting this on the skillet, and we'll get it golden brown, and we're gonna take you over, and let's get it started. And make sure you're flat pressing these Reuben sandwiches as you're grilling them. Okay, so we're going to finish up the rest of these sandwiches and we're going to go into making the Russian dressing. These are the ingredients. Let's get started. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be making Russian dressing. And the Russian dressing I'm going to be making is for a Reuben sandwich, a classic Reuben sandwich. So let's get started. First, you're going to need some mayo. So we have Hellman's here. You can use pretty much any type of mayonnaise. We just happen to have Hellman's. We're gonna use a half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay, half a cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna use three tablespoons of ketchup. Tablespoons of ketchup. Gotta get some more ketchup. Okay. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of horseradish. Okay. We got one and two. All right. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We got 
one, two. Okay, and then we need one tablespoon of granulated sugar, but we're only gonna put one teaspoon in here. You can always add later. So I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and that's just for color. Okay. I'm gonna give it like a maybe two sprigs of the sea salt. One, two, three. Okay. And last but not least, y'all, some black pepper. Give it about a little dash of black pepper. There we go. All right. Now we're going to give it a little mixy mix. And we're going to refrigerate for about 30 minutes. But if you guys want to save, you have extra leftover. You can probably refrigerate this for about a couple months. And that was so simple. Russian dressing, y'all. Oh, let's taste it. Mm. Very good. All right. There you are. Russian dressing. Now let this chill in the refrigerator about 30 minutes to an hour. And now here you have it. It's been chilled for about an hour, maybe two hours. And this is all that goodness that we put on those sandwiches when they were being made. And here it is, you guys. Our classic Reuben sandwiches. Grilled classic Reuben sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, comment below, comment below. Because I love answering your comments and I answer all of my comments. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Have you tried making a classic Reuben? Hit me up in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, make that red button turn gray today and become one of my oh yeah babies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah baby. <laughs>